everyone. So I'm going to show you how to put this word wall um, if you want to use it for your class for digital learning. Um, if you want to use this, how you can put it into your Schoology course. So you're going to have the word wall. So I'm going to, in the descriptions, I will link the template to this word wall that you can have and you can um, add in your bitmojis to every slide. Um, you can change it however you want. Um, but this is just the template that I'm going to use and I'll show you how to put this into Schoology. So once you have this in your, um, in your Google Drive, there are lots of ways you can use this in Schoology, but I'll show you the first one first. You can get the publish to the web um, link and then you can link it into your Schoology course by this. So you can just go to file, publish to the web and hit publish and hit okay. So you can either control C this link, go to your Schoology course, go to add materials, add a link, add link. You can title your, your control V to copy that link in there and you can title it word wall. You can either individually assign this, you can have it displayed in a in Schoology or displayed in a new window or you can unpublish and publish it. And then you'll just hit add. And then remember everything you add pops up at the bottom of your screen. There it is. So at the very bottom, there's the word wall. If I click that, oop, it opens up in a new screen. So now all of these are clickable for students to see and then they can go home. So if you don't wanna do it that way, if you want it to be embedded in your Schoology, you will go to, you can embed it two ways. You can either embed it in a page, so you can go to add materials, add a page, and then you have, you have these two dots over here. You wanna switch it to the HTML, because if you have it on um, the, the regular page, you can insert a link into your regular page, title it word wall, and then there's the link right there that students can click on. But I want it to actually be embedded in the page. So I'm gonna go over to these two dots and I'm gonna make sure it's switched to HTML. Now you're gonna go back to your word wall and you're gonna click embed on your publish to the web. And you're gonna wanna copy control C this code. Then you'll go back to your Schoology, make sure you're on the HTML and control V and you're gonna title it word wall. Now it's gonna look funky at the beginning, but this is just code to make sure that it's embedded in your Schoology course or into your Schoology page. You'll hit create. The page will pop up at the bottom. You'll click on this page. Oop. And then there is your word wall words um, thing that's all clickable for students to go. So let me go home. They're all clickable for students, okay? So you can also add the word wall um, to your folders as well. So to do this, so that way you can have maybe um, the folder, you want the folder right here to have the word wall in it. So you can have any folder that you want and just go to this gear and hit edit. Then go to the insert content, go to Google Drive resource app, find the word wall um, one that you want, so word wall. Maybe it'll pop up, maybe it won't, there it is. You can preview it by clicking on the word wall to make sure that's the correct one you want, which it is. You'll click this little um, box inside to put a check. You'll go up to import. You'll hit import embed because you want it embedded in the folder. Now it's going to look like there's nothing there on your folder description, but once you click save changes, there is the word wall right there for students. They can click inside of this document and they can see all the word wall words without even going into the folder. I hope this helps you with the word wall. I hope you love the resource. Change whatever you want to it, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.